Hey, me again. I'm here at the Bellamy Wildlife Management Area in Dover, New Hampshire. And today, even though Christmas has already passed, I'm going to be doing my next Ben's Wild Adventure episode on the animal of Christmas, the reindeer. For one thing, reindeer. the reindeer is also known as the caribou. Caribou and reindeer are the same thing. And the reindeer is the third largest deer in the world. Eight feet long, five feet tall, 700 pounds, and with antlers five feet long. The only two deer that are larger than the reindeer are the moose and the elk. But here's something. The reindeer's antlers are actually the same size as an elk's antlers, even though an elk is almost three times bigger than a reindeer. Now the reason why we're here, we probably won't see any reindeer here because reindeer don't live here, but this field is kind of close to the habitat that reindeer live in because reindeer like to feed on grass. I've seen them in Alaska. The last time I went to Alaska, I've seen them in the wild. They, they were, a lot of them I saw by themselves, but reindeer actually live in herds of up to three million, the largest concentration of deer in the world. The herd is broken up into smaller family groups called harems, each led by a male. Remember, a, a harem, harem is, is a, a group, group of females, females controlled, controlled by a male. male. And what's cool is reindeer have a great sense of smell. They can actually smell things buried underneath six feet of snow. And they're very fast. They can run up to 50 miles an hour. And some of their predators are polar bears, brown bears, black bears, cougars, and wolves. Now, what's interesting about reindeer is that in most deer species, only the males have antlers, but reindeer are the only species of deer in the world where both males and females have antlers. Obviously, because males are bigger than females, they have bigger antlers than the females do. Sometimes the females have antlers, sometimes you feel like a and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you don't. But the males always have antlers, and... Like all deer, they use their handlers to fight for fighting each other. And reindeer are also the only species of deer in the world that have been domesticated. And Santa's not the only one who owns reindeer. There are these people in Siberia called the Dolgans. They are reindeer herders. Their reindeer is their source of transportation. That is how they move around. And they've sometimes even found woolly mammoth fossils. Now here's some facts for the kids. Facts about Santa's reindeer. I've actually seen this on TV on an animal plant show called The Most Extreme on the episode about swarms. 670 million children believe in Santa Claus and that's how many people, that's how many children Santa visits every Christmas Eve. And there's an average of four kids per household. That means it's been calculated that he has to visit 2,000 houses per second. I'm not kidding, I really did hear that. And he and his nine reindeer have to travel 111 million miles. That means they have to fly as fast as 4 million miles an hour. Compare that to a normal reindeer, which only runs 50 miles an hour. So Santa's reindeer are 80,000 times faster than a normal reindeer. Now we all know Santa Claus, and we all know his nine reindeer. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph. And there actually was a real Santa Claus. His name was literally Saint Nicholas. Another interesting thing about reindeer is that 
I've already mentioned the Alaska episode is that they're one of the big five of Denali. And I already said the big five of Denali are... Five. The moose, brown, brown bear, bear, the caribou, caribou the doll sheep, sheep and, and the wolf. wolf. And I also... Here's something really cool I saw on TV once. On Weird, True, and Freaky on Animal Planet, I saw a caribou taking on a brown bear. But of, but of course, the caribou lost because the brown bear was bigger and stronger. It killed the caribou. The caribou was no match for the brown bear. You see, like a lot of deer species, the reindeer, despite having such an impressive rack of antlers, can't effectively use them against their predators like bears, cougars, and wolves. So they can only use them against each other, which is why they... They tend to run away from their predators rather than fight. They choose flight rather than fight. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure. And even though Christmas is over, I just want to say Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho.